mellowed out by now. I'm still smiling. I better be careful. All right, now this is one of the largest reptiles in the United States. Take a got him. There you are, boy. One of the largest reptiles in the world. Hmm. Now, guys, I will tell you, this is either an alligator or a crocodile. Who thinks a crocodile? Did you know if you're in Egypt, that's one of the, some of the world's largest reptiles. What crocodile lives in Egypt? That's correct, the Nile crocodile. can get longer than both of these tables put together. Who thinks this could be a Nile crocodile? Who thinks it might be a, who thinks it's an alligator? There are some different ways to tell them apart. One way is to look at the teeth. Everyone tell bacon to open up. Say, open up, bacon. Open up, bacon. Sometimes it helps when you use a magic word. Hey, bacon, would you mind opening up for everyone? Please. Bacon, please. Thank you. Please. All right. He's starting to open up. Now I'm ready for a volunteer who would like to reach in and count bacon's teeth. Okay, reach right in there. I'm just kidding. Guys, that, that method is effective, but you can only do it twice, once with each hand. <laughs> Instead, we'll look at Bacon's snout. Settle down, Bacon. Bacon has a round snout, like the letter U, telling us that Bacon is an alligator. Now, there's something about God's creation that's pretty special. How many of you guys look at an alligator or crocodile and you see kind of a little monster? That's kind of what they look like on the surface. But did you know when you really study God's creation, I think it reveals some things about our Creator. Like the alligator, reminding me of a relationship that we could have with God. Did you know that alligators and crocodiles, when they are babies, their mom is always close by. And if these guys get into any trouble when they're six or seven inches long, guess what they do? They chirp. They don't need to fight back. They just go, hmm. And guess who's close by all the time? Mama. Mama. Guess who loves to hear her babies chirping for her? Mama. Mama. And I thought, you know what? That is kind of like God's relationship with us. How do you think it makes him feel when he hears us talking to him? When we pray to God, do you think it makes him sad? Do you think he says, oh no, those kids have a problem again. I'm busy. <laughs> or do you think God loves to hear us praying to him? He loves it. He loves to be our protector, just like that mother alligator is always looking out for her babies. You guys can always remember 